hello you're welcome how to solve for hex in this nice exponential equation yeah solution from what is given we are we have 25 raised to power hex minus 20 raised to power hex equals to 16 raised to power hex from here let's divide through by 16 raised to power x so divide this by 16 raised to power x also here 16 raised to power hex and from here as well divide by 16 raised to power hex and here this cancel each other and we are left with one then from what we have here following when we have a raised to power n over b raised to power n this same thing as a over b or raised to power n then it implies here we can write this as 25 over 16 or raised to power hex then minus here we have 20 over 16 or raised to power hex then equals to 1 on this side that is here 25 same thing as 5 square then over 16 same thing as 4 square then raised to power hex here minus also here we can write 20 as 4 times 5 then over 16 as 4 times 4 which is raised to power hex then equals to 1 <clears throat> and following this you know law of indices again here we can write this as 5 over 4 all square now then all raised to power hex minus here 4 cancel each other we are left with 5 over 4 all raised to power hex then equals to 1 on this side <coughs> then from the law of indices as well a raised to power m raised to power n this same thing as a raised to power m n and which we can also write as a raised to power n then raised to power m then <coughs> here it implies we can interchange this power then here we have 5 over 4 or raised to power x now then or raised to power 2 minus 5 over 4 or raised to power hex then equals to 1 from here <coughs> then what we have now we have 5 over 4 raised to power hex common here so let a letter represent this so let this be equals to a letter u that is now here this equation becomes u square minus u equals to 1 and taking one to this side this becomes u square minus u minus one equals to zero then when we solve this quadratic equation please subscribe and give it thumbs up thank you from here a is equals to one b equals to minus one and c equals to minus one now here Using the formula, u is now equals to minus minus one plus or minus square root of minus one squared, then minus four times one times minus one, then over two times one. And here u becomes here yeah, minus times minus that's plus as one plus or minus square root of here. Yeah, that's t1 then here minus times minus plus that's plus 4 then over 2 from here and what we have now we have u equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2 so we have two cases for you here here we have u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or we have u equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 then let's recall that we represented u 
as 5 over 4 all raised to power x that is here on this side we have 5 over 4 raised to power x now equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here and also on this side we have 5 over 4 all raised to power x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 from here and when we compare the two sides here the result is positive also here this is positive and here this is positive as well why this side is negative so on this side no resolution from here no resolution on this side then from here when we solve further like and subscribe and thank you for doing that we take the log on both sides so we have log into bracket 5 over 4 raised to power hex then equals to here we have log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here then from the power law of logarithm from log m raised to power p which can be written as p log m here we take x now to the back here so we have x log 5 over 4 then equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 then over 2 from here close bracket that is here to get x divide both sides by log 5 over 4 and this side also by log 5 over 4 and here this log 5 over 4 comes to each other then we are left with x equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then divided by log 5 over 4 from here <coughs> and if we like from here we can put answer in decimal or we can apply the change of base and from log a over log b this same thing as <coughs> sorry please that's log a to base b then it implies here we can put this as x equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then to base 5 over 4 and we have the solution to this given eh, problem so thank you for watching don't forget the steps and subscribe for more videos turn on the notification bell put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now